Can somebody please explain to me how Mayorkas is still in his present job? That's one asshole that needs to be thrown in jail. Between the fact that he has totally left our southern and northern borders wide open, that we have used billions of dollars from FEMA to deal with the, the influx of illegal, illegal immigrants, not here legally. And I don't want to hear somebody say, well, the government signed a letter saying that they, nah, bullshit, that's fucked up and we all know it's bullshit. Billions of dollars on illegal immigrants. You know, take a quick peek at what they've spent in New York City and Chicago. And that's state and local, okay? Then add on top of it another billion dollars from FEMA that should have been used to help the people affected by the latest hurricane. Mayorkas needs to be in I mean, that fucker needs to be under the jail. He should never see the light of day. Every person that died in this storm is on him. It's on him. It's on the Biden administration. It's on every person that has let this happen to our country. You know what? I'm tired of people saying, well, you know, it, it, it is what it is. Nah, you know what? We need to stand up and say enough is enough. If you're not mad as hell about this, just think, I'm really lucky. I'm not there. I'm in Oklahoma. Okay? I'm a 55-year-old veteran. I have diabetes. If I don't have my insulin, there's people out there in, in North Carolina that still, it's oh, seven, eight days now. I know I'm not the only old fat guy that's diabetic. Man, if I don't have my insulin, I'll die. There's a lot of people out there that if they don't have their heart medication, they'll die. If they don't have their medication, they will die. How many people have passed? Because that fuck stain, and yeah, I used the word fuck stain, my orcus, has let this happen. Him, his booty brother, Pete Buttigieg, and if I hear one more story of another person saying, well, the government won't let me go in and help. You know what? If you fuckers won't do your job, get out of the way and let citizens help citizens. Pete Buttigieg put a no-fly thing for, for drones. You know what? The deal is, isn't that it's going to affect flights that are up. They don't want the citizens to see how bad the destruction really is. Point blank, that's the only reason for it. It's not that uh, 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 a tiny little drone is going to cause impairment for a fucking plane or a helicopter. You know what? I hope all these sons of bitches end up burning in hell because that's where they belong. That's where they belong. And I'm not sad for saying it. Kamala Harris, Joe Biden, Mayorkas, Pete Buttigieg, the booty popping fag. And I have lots of friends that are gay. I don't like that fucker. Fuck him. Sorry for my language. I'm just absolutely at my wits end because there's no way in the world we should treat our citizens like this. And hell, I'm not even there. I feel sorry for every person that has had to deal with this as we sit here and find out that our government has absolutely just dropped the ball and said, you know, we don't care about the citizens. All you are is cash cows. All we want from you is your tax dollars so that we can send it overseas or we can spend it on illegal aliens. Because sooner or later, you won't be here and the illegal aliens will want their tax dollars. You know what, Harris? Yeah, Harris, I hope your plane falls out of the sky like a rock. It'd be the only thing that would help our country out.